Hello guys, welcome to a short video on JavaScript. In this video, I am going to show you how you can change background color of this drop down option based on its selection. As you can see here, currently I have three options. So there might be some scenarios where you want to change color of uh, this drop down option based on these selections. As an example, if I click on completed, it should show green color. If I select in progress, it should show yellow color and it if I select the pending it should show red color so this is a basic functionality which we can implement using JavaScript it can be extended based on your requirements for different scenarios let's uh, see how we can do this one so let me delete everything just take a basic structure of HTML here to achieve this, I am using jQuery. So first let me add a jQuery CDN in our HTML file. If you have jQuery CDN link, you can directly add it here. Or you can go to a browser and you can search for CDN. So this is a CDN. So I am just copying it and I am putting it in my HTML file. I am going to save this file now. First step is we need to add drop down option in our HTML file. To add the, the drop down option we need to select uh, uh, HTML element tag. So I'll just create this one. Within this one I need three options. So actually I will add four options. First one will be blank. Second option so that will be completed. Third option that uh, will be in progress then we need another option that is pending so just save this one go back to your browser just refresh the file as you can see here drop down has been added into your HTML file but there is no functionality of uh, changing the background color so the next step is we need to add a uh, a unique ID for this one so that we can use this one in JavaScript and we can fetch the value of the selection which is selected by the user I will give you as select so that will be our ID for this drop-down option similarly we need to add some unique identifiers for these values so that we can fetch the values of these options so I will give same names which I have used for drop down options. For the first one I will give as completed. For next one we can give as pro in progress without any space then for pending I will give as pending. So that completes our HTML part. So let's go to JavaScript and jQuery part. First thing we need to do in JavaScript is we need to add document ready function so that our function will get trigger as soon our document loads so the next step is we need to pick the value whenever the option changes then we can change the background of the option so for that one we have a change function in jquery i will use that one just write a function for our drop down option our drop down options id is select so i will use the same id as select as we need to add or trigger a function whenever there is a change in uh, the drop down option i will use the function change so write a function within this one and open and close curly braces so whenever there will be a change in option this function will be triggered. Just to testing purpose you can add one simple alert box and you can write option is changed. Just save this file and go back to your browser and refresh this one. Now I am going to select this option in progress. As you can see here there is a pop-up message which is triggering as soon as there is a change in the option. Similarly, if I select pending, again I will get this message. So whenever there is a change in option, this function will be triggered. 
so we don't require this alert function I will just remove this one so our main intention is we need to change the background based on the option value so the next step is we need to get the value of the option selected by the user to fetch the value of the drop down option use the jQuery code uh, hash. we need to get the value of this uh, drop down option for that you need to append value method so this piece of code will return us a value which is selected by the user so I will uh, save this one in a variable so that we can use it in our function option selected okay so the next step is we need to check whether the option selected by the user is equal to completed or whether it's going to be in progress or it's pending so based on that one we can change the background to do that one I will use if condition in first condition I will write as we have saved the value in option selected add that one and check whether it is completed so if the user selection is completed the code within these two curly braces that will be executed if the user selection is completed we need to change the background color of this drop down to green color to do that one first fetch the select with the use of jquery code select then we need to change the background color so for that one I will use CSS property background color I need to change it to green colors for that one I need to specify hexadecimal code of green within this second parameter so this is a color code for green color if you don't know what is the color code if or if you want to change the color code you can google it and you'll get the hexadecimal code so now we have written code for completed so it should work so when we select uh, drop down option completed the background should be green color so let's test it go back to your browser and refresh it so I'll select completed as you can see here green color background is applied to this drop down option if I select other things still it's green so if I refresh the page and if I select in progress as you can see here color is not getting changed as we are not yet added color code for these two conditions let's go back to our code let's add code for other two options that is in progress and pending to add another uh, condition just use else if I will copy this first condition so that we can modify instead of completed this time this will be in progress you can copy and paste it here and you can use the same code which we have added here just you can change the color code for in progress I will change a background color to yellow the hexadecimal code for that one is double F double F double zero similarly we need another else if for the final option that is pending so if the option selected is pending we need to change color code to so in this case I want to change it to red so the color code for red is double F double zero double zero so I will th save this file so now our code is ready I will go back to Google Chrome I will refresh so when I choose in progress as you can see here yellow color background is applied to drop down if I select pending red color background is applied similarly if I select complete so green color is applied here so this is how we can change drop down option uh, background color based on the drop down option uh, selected by the user thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please click on like button share it to others and subscribe to my channel